two businesses, those allowed to reopen and those that have to stay closed. Our reporters are working for Chicago in the suburbs and the city. We start, though, with a CBS2 investigation. Our Dorothy Tucker found one type of business not allowed to open, and if that's not enough, they now face a licensing deadline. So it's a neighborhood bar. We've been in business for 36 years. And in all that time, this is the first time Cookie's Lounge has been closed for business, and it hurts. We're still paying bills, we're still paying our mortgage, and no additional income coming in. While many Chicago businesses were forced to shut down, some can open next week, but not taverns. There are still a number of sectors which will, unfortunately, we expect to remain closed for the time being. There are more than 800 taverns across the city of Chicago, and most of them must remain closed until further notice. That's what scares Johnson. It's really sad that, you know, we could be on the verge of losing it. Johnson figures she's lost close to $40,000 during the shutdown. Approximately 35 Thousand. And she's not alone. Yeah, about 35, 40 thousand, something like that. To add to their financial woes, every one of these tavern owners has to pay $4,400 by July 15th to renew their liquor licenses. Nearly 100 others also have licenses expiring this summer, whether they're open for business or not. Uh, the problem is that trying to pay these bills and you're closed. Charlene Brown owns the Phase 2 lounge where chairs stacked up on tables collect dust. And it's kind of hard to do. Charles Gordon owns the Family Den Lounge. If we can't do something that we paid for, they should at least give us a credit for that amount. The owner of the junction has another suggestion. Give us extension or a deduction on it because we've already lost three months of it. And even when their doors are finally open, social distancing rules will limit capacity at Cookies, 50, maybe 30, too many. Our customer base won't be the same coming back in, so our monthly income will not be the same as well. So we really need to do some things to be able to help them out. Cookies Lounge is in Alderman Howard Brookins, 21st Ward. These small businesses that make our neighborhoods great, it is imperative that we keep those businesses in our community. Brookins also supports extending the deadline for liquor licenses or giving owners credit something the manager of Time Out and others would appreciate. We're being shut down all the way around and funds are not coming in for us to pay those bills. Brookins promises to reach out to the mayor and ask her to give the tavern owners a little bit more time to pay that $4,400. We've reached out to the mayor as well. Chris? $40,000 losses. Unbelievable here, Dorothy. After being out so long and really no end in sight, are these owners concerned about customers coming back? Absolutely, especially in the summertime. The summer is the worst time of the year for them. That's because customers have other options. They will do outdoor patios, and they are afraid that they choose to come inside their bars, especially when you talk about the limited occupancy. They're afraid. Mm, understandable, and we will keep on top of it, and we send them our best. Dorothy, thanks a lot.